So continuing my journey through the album Fortitude, we reach track number five, New Found. Let's check it out. So signature Gojira, right? Gojira, that da, 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 wow, that weird effect that they do. It's awesome. It's definitely a signature sound from them. Um, again, I'm just loving how heavy this is. Uh, a lot of these tracks are bringing the aggression, which Magma kind of lacked. It had a bit of it, but as a whole, it was kind of lacking that. But this album seems to be putting that back in there and kind of mixing it with that alternative metal sound. And I am digging it so far. It's just Da, 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 da. It's awesome. <laughs> Just the guitars and the drums are so tight that. Da, 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 da. The double kicks and stuff, it sounds so friggin' amazing and heavy. While the chorus is interesting, uh, it sounds a bit different. Every time this verse part comes back in, it's a so hard hitting, so awesome. I love it.
digging this this whole breakdown section the triplets and they definitely bring the heaviness in this track the aggression uh that chorus like i said it's it definitely stands out in the track um especially with the drumming and everything and i like that section where it kind of let it breathe the chord section the vocals kind of went in the background and they slowed it down and you could really hear the guitars and that a bit more and the the drums got a little subtle but yeah what an interesting track definitely <laughs> going on the playlist man so damn good <laughs> I could honestly let that section play out all day. Sounds so damn good. Really a headbanging track here. Um, I like the how it kept playing it over and over in the end that section, and then the drums were sticking out to me because he kept sw Mario kept switching up his drum patterns, his fills, making it interesting. Even though it was kind of repeating the same riff over and over till it faded out, he kept things interesting. That riff, the the guitars really stood out to me on this track they're just so damn good so heavy and aggressive and just had me head banging the whole time definitely a new found favorite track by the band <laughs> i freaking love it that was track number five moving on the track number six uh halfway through the album now we reached the title track fortitude so let's check it out if you know Gojira they're known to have these interlude type tracks short between a minute two minutes long they have them pretty much on every one of their albums sometimes they work sometimes they don't this was okay definitely not the worst I've heard 
uh, for their, it's not like a filler track so much like some of the other ones. And some of them I really love. Uh, this one kind of sits in the middle for me. It might take a few more listens for me to really appreciate or maybe to really not like, you know. But on this first listen, it was okay. Um, interesting that uh, he doesn't use like a regular drum set in here. It's, I don't know if it's bongos or what, but you hear like almost like a tambourine with it. Um, and it's it's much more of an acoustic type track. I don't know if they're actually using acoustics, but it's definitely not heavy or distorted or anything, which gives it kind of an old school vibe, especially with the vocals. The uh, uh, almost sound like women doing this vocal chant in the background or something. I don't know, it almost brings me back to like the late 1800s or something. But yeah, very cool, interesting, uh, and short enough to not uh, make a nuisance on the album. You know, you, you can still get by this fairly quickly, even if it's not your thing. And it kind of splits up the album really nicely, sitting right in the middle. But we'll move on to track number seven, which is called The Chant. And let's check it out. So obviously Fortitude was this kind of building into this track, which is very cool. Like I said, a lot of their albums have these interludes or filler type tracks, but they don't really, they really stand on their own or whatever. But this time it actually accompanied the, accompanied the next track very nicely, which is very well done. Makes that last track even better. <laughs> feel like Gojira in a way it reminds me more of like Mastodon <laughs> for some reason but yeah I'm loving the chorus the chant obviously um and it's you know it's already ingrained in my brain from the last track so I'm already loving it when the first time I heard it on here so it makes for a great chorus and it's kind of soothing and like um calming just kind of relaxing here in it eh? which is very odd to say for a Gojira track um there's very few tracks like that, but wow, this one kind of works, but it doesn't feel like them.
man, that chant can just literally play all day. The melody in that section in the chorus is just so beautiful, so catchy, so uh, majestic. So good. The verse is okay, but every time the chorus comes in, it's like fire, man. You know, this band doesn't always solo, so it's interesting when they do. Um, in that later section when they started soloing, it was very bluesy, almost like a hard rock type solo. And then it went to tremolo picking, almost like black metal a little bit, but it was kind of subdued to the point where it still worked with this whole alternative vibe, man. This is them killing, killing it in the alternative metal genre you're not really hearing any death metal or progressiveness in here but when they go alternative they make sure to go go hard or go home i mean they're great at that yeah the chant perfect name for the track too you know because that's what stands out so much in here it's that gorgeous melody that they're creating for that course and obviously they let it play out for a while in the end and i wouldn't have it any other way could have listened to it for hours <laughs> Yeah, so that was track number seven, which accompanied the title track very well, track number six. We, re we reached track number eight called The Finks. Or, yeah, Finks. So yeah, let's check it out.
track so far is just straight up good. I mean, I don't have much to say about it. The way it opened, signature Gojira again with the pick slides and stuff and the heavy riffs. They're just playing extremely well and it's catchy. It's good. It's everything I want. Nothing, nothing really uh, sticking out as like crazy or different, but nothing bad either. They're staying right in line where I like them to be. Very good. definitely grooving out um i'm loving all the double kicks that do 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 at the end of each phrase um of course the the guitars are accompanying them with that so damn good everybody's so tight on this song it's heavy it's fast moving it's almost over already a very easy listen but it's full of groove and that's exactly what i want from this band <laughs> Okay, that was Fink's, a very quick track, just flew by, no nonsense in this track, it was a straight up groovy metal from start to finish, had their signature style in there, it was just a great freaking track, not much more to say, it was very catchy on my first listen, uh, headbanging all the way through, loved the kicks, loved the fills, loved the guitar work, it was killer, it really was. <laughs> 